Hey Bookaholic, so welcome back to another video. Today I am bringing you another Magic Systems video. In this video I'm going to be going through some elemental magic. Magic Systems is a uh, series I have ongoing on my channel where I talk about different fantasy series based on their magic systems. This one is elemental magic, earthy magic, wieldy kind of magic. It is a little bit more specific I suppose than some of the other ones that I've done but I am going through each of the types of magic systems that I seem to have at least more than one book in that type and compiling them for you guys. So I have five series to talk to you about today that have at least some kind of semblance of elemental magic. I will leave the playlist to the rest of these linked down below and up in the cards in case you want to check them out. But without further ado, let's get into the first one, which is the Broken Earth series by N.K. Jemisin. This is a sci fantasy. There are a lot of elements to this that feel very much post-apocalyptic, dystopian sci-fi. And we are following a woman named Essen who lives in a world where you have origins and that means that they are people who can wield earth magic which you would think would be beneficial to these people because every few hundred years you have what's called a fifth season. The fifth season is total annihilation of society. Hurricanes, it is earthquakes, it is everything is going to shit. You'd think that having origins around who have these powers would be a good thing but instead they are feared and therefore they are treated really very poorly. Within the society we have Essen who is one of said origins who comes home one day and finds that her husband has found out that her son had origin powers and has murdered him and then fled with their daughter. So now she has to cross the country to go and try and find her husband and her daughter. This is a very harrowing series. It's not for the faint of heart. It's also a very interesting series in the way that it is told. We have multiple POVs. We don't only actually have Essence POV and we also have a POV that is in second person. It's kind of notorious for that. This series is also quite complex and it doesn't really hold your hand. It reveals stuff when it wants to and you just have to kind of go with the flow. So there are a lot of things to it that do make it a little bit more of a complicated read but I promise you it is worth it. It is one of the best series out there. One of my all-time favourites. Jemison is definitely one of my favourite authors and every time I read something new by her she just solidifies that more and more. So I do have a dedicated review for this. I don't know how good it is because it's one of my really old reviews but I do have a dedicated review for this series so I will leave it linked in case anyone wants to check it out. Another Afrofuturistic novel that I can tell you less <laughs> about why this would count for this but we do have Who Fears Death by Nnedi Okorafor. This is another book that I talk about at nauseum on this channel. One of my favourite books to talk about, one of my favourite standalones I have ever read. In this book we are following a girl named Onya Sanwu who was so named by her mother because it means who fears death. Onya Sanwu is a product of weaponized rape. Her mother was raped by some lighter skinned men who basically go about destroying villages and then raping the women to breed out the darker skinned people and it is incredibly harrowing as you can imagine from that description. It is about Anya Somu trying to find out her place in the world because obviously she is lighter skinned which means that people know why she exists. That makes her slightly an outcast in her village and then she begins to have powers and she doesn't really know what to do with that especially because she's a woman. A lot of the men don't want to teach women especially about their magic so it's a very complex situation that she finds herself in and it's how she overcomes that. The kind of strength that we have in Onya Sanwu is absolutely incredible. It's a very 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 harrowing story as you can imagine just from the description alone but there are so many other content warnings in here so please do check a full list of content warnings because Nnedi Okorafor does not hold back so do be sure that you are prepared to read this. I had to forewarn my mum several times when she picked it up and I think she still found it quite harrowing so do please take care of your mental health but if you can handle it it is literally one of the best standalone books I have ever had the privilege of reading. On the flip side of that we're going to go to something a bit lighter, going to calm down a little bit and I'm going to go with one that is a sci-fi dystopian romance. The Chronicles of the One by Nora Roberts. This is a couple who have to survive the end of the world. A pandemic has rushed through the globe and has basically devastated civilization. Typical pandemic setup. We have basically people have started developing powers and amongst them our protagonists 
protagonist and therefore you have the people who have developed powers and are trying to survive and the people who haven't developed powers who are afraid of the people who have developed powers. This is very X-Men in its setup in the sense of you have these people with their abilities who kind of have to hide but are also trying to help the community even the people who hate them. It's got very X-Men vibes to it but it's also got dystopian romance vibes so it combines a lot of cliches and a lot of tropes but because you're combining it from multiple genres it creates something new which is very entertaining but yeah if you wanted a kind of survivalist post-apocalyptic romance in the style of x-men that's what this is that's the closest i can get to describing it but amongst the powers are of course elemental-ish vibe powers would you necessarily go watch or read x-men and be like oh elemental magic probably not but there are elements that are elemental magic in them so it's the closest i could find to put this somewhere the next one i have is another one of my favorite books of last year absolutely love this book and that is of course outlaw mage by chaos veloso for anyone who wasn't around last year chaos veloso became my whole personality for a year i have three more chaos veloso books as well so she may well become my whole personality again this year not to mention that we've got the sequel to this one coming out in july and i'm so excited anyway i need to calm down so this one we are following a young woman who is from a different area of the world than the one that she lives in so she's an immigrant her father is posing as a wealthy merchant so that he might gain monetarily from that and while he is amongst all of these rich folk he declares that his daughter has these amazing powers which she very much does and therefore some of the people want her to be enrolled into the magic school so that it might be used for the benefit of the kingdom and there are other people who very much do not want a foreigner in their prestigious school she ends up getting enrolled through her father pressuring her and while she's there she's treated rather poorly because of being an immigrant and people believing that she does not deserve her spot there however she has some of the best magical abilities but very little assistance because of this so her training is kind of self taught so there's not really much point in her being there so come the exams she decides actually no screw this and leaves which you can't do because you have all of this magic training now that means that you need to be brought into an organization and kind of kept an eye on because of the powers that you have and she's just decided to go off to rural areas and help people out making her an outlaw mage the politics of the world absolutely amp up throughout this i found it so compulsively readable and so much fun as well as it having some really on point discussions around academia around politics around immigration top tier love it absolutely new favorite cannot wait for the sequel also the cover is stunning this series has got elemental ish magic we have mage magic which does have a kind of elemental vibe to it and a very earthy vibe to it does it have like outright only elemental magic no but is that part of it yes so do with that what you will i just find a reason to gush about this book really and the last one and probably the most popular one on here one that everyone knows this is elemental magic but it just in case it did slip your radar or in case you didn't know it had elemental magic we have the sword of kaigen elemental magic it has been pitched as like avatar the last airbender meets samurai people who have different magical abilities based on their lineage and we have these characters who very much have power that are elementally linked and in this story we are following two perspectives we're following a young boy who has been raised in this society to become a warrior to become essentially a samurai to be one of the swords of kaigen those who protect the empire until he is informed that it is possible they are not being informed by everything that is actually happening in their country and they are deliberately being kept in the dark so that they are willing to be sacrificial insert his mother the other perspective and she is from a different area she very much has a different lived experience that she is not allowed to talk about and she has skills as a warrior that she has been forced to put aside so that she can be a good wife and mother however when the threat begins to loom over her family the urge to pick up her sword and defend what she loves grows ever stronger this is an intense story it took me a long time to get into this one because the first half is setting everything up i can understand why this is standalone it could have easily been a duology the way that you've got the two halves but i think it would have been a very hard sell for people to pick up the sequel having only read the first half it was a really intense story it was a very poignant story absolutely sobbed 
at various points in this story, please check content warnings, especially if you're a parent, please check content warnings. Incredible story, incredible world building, incredible characterization. So even though the pacing, not necessarily my favorite, everything else just made up for it in abundance and I would highly recommend. And there you have it. Those are five elemental magics that I would recommend you guys check out. Let me know if you've read any of these. Let me know some of the fantasies that you have read that have elemental magic that you have enjoyed and would recommend. And that is all for me for today. So thank you ever so much for watching and I will hopefully catch you in another one soon. Bye!